Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is time to be blunt with your homie, the one, the only, William J. Hunt. It's supposed to be the Wonder Year theme song, it is, but I do not believe this sounds like the Nintendo video game version of it. Or the Super Nintendo? Yeah, I think Super Nintendo would be more fitting for the Wonder Years. It's supposed to be a little help from my friends, so let's see if it does it. All right, so, hey everybody, it is Saturday night. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. We are getting closer to my days off, and trust me, I am very, very happy. Tomorrow will be one week straight of working, and I am ready just to sit back and do absolutely nothing. Actually, I might be going up to Tillamook to visit a friend, and if that happens, well, it will be good. So, I'm looking forward to that probability or possibility. Um... Yeah, everybody, today was just another day selling cannabis. It's kind of what we do. Another $25 made in tips. I think in the last three days, I have made $65 in tips, roughly, um, which is, yeah, pretty good. I'm not complaining. Also figured out that my checks right now at fifteen fifty at 80 hours, it's going to be pretty, pretty sweet. So I'm, I'm excited about that one also. Um, let's see, let's see. So, um... I know that there's been all this protesting and rioting and looting and everything else. And don't get me wrong, folks. I believe that there's definitely something that needs to be corrected with our system. Um, and for whatever reason, black people keep becoming the target of a lot of this, a lot of this bullshit that keeps happening. That poor man that died in Minneapolis, George Floyd, that shit should have never happened. I don't care if he got out. And started punching a whole bunch of people and everything else. They had him on the ground. He was cuffed. He wasn't moving. He should have been picked up and put inside of a cop car. And instead that fucking cop just sat there with his fucking knee on his neck. And yeah. So I'm not going to get into all that. Because I'm not actually here to get all political. And, and tell people how they should think or anything else. But no matter what. You're not fucking doing a goddamn bit of good by going out and setting a building on fire or destroying somebody else's fucking property. You're not doing anything for George Floyd's family. You're not doing anything to, to, to memorize or, mem you know what I mean, or to even bring up the memory of, of his passing. Not that any of us knew him from a person, but we all want to sit there and say that this shit is wrong, right? People want to say this is wrong. Well, guess what? The way they're reacting is fucking wrong, too. I don't care. They say you got to be loud to get the police or the attention. Well, they were loud when Rodney King got beat. L.A. went up. Flames, man. Buildings lost. People died. Looting, rioting, all that shit. Still happened. When um, the guy out of New York got choked out for uh, the loose selling Lucy cigarettes. Right? You guys remember him? Yeah. Another black gentleman. Cop choked him out. Man told him he couldn't breathe. Cop choked him out. They rioted over that shit. Didn't do a goddamn bit of good. There was a boy who got shot in um in Missouri, I think it was, I want to say. And uh, not a number of years ago now. His shit was a little different as far as I'm concerned. He did charge the police officer. I felt the police officer defended himself in that action. Um, that kid had also just been inside of a store. Roughing up the, the owner of that store too. So, but they rioted. Guess what? Shit still happened. On and on and on and on and on. Riot. Destroy police vehicles. Burn down buildings. Destroy people's stores and everything else, right? Because that's going to solve the fucking issue. No. The issue is still the same. There is no solving it, unfortunately, guys. From our level, there is nothing that we really can do. There's just not. May you convince more of your family members to become police officers. To become those people that should be out there protecting society. You know, there's not all cops are bad. And I, I saw that the other day. Somebody had posted, well, until the good cops start taking care of the bad cops, all cops are bad. Well, I was a soldier. I never went over, never saw any combat. But I know in Afghanistan, there were some soldiers that killed some Taliban people. And they peed on them. Urinated all over the dead. It's war. That is war. Not that action. But what I'm talking about is actual physical war. Emotions run high. You lose your friends. Things like that. But when they did that, 
They didn't speak for all soldiers, because not all soldiers are desecrating the dead or disrespecting the dead, however it's said. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a little fired up. So I'm going to let this go. My friends, tonight, I hope the only flames that we see around us is going to be this one right here. And I hope we can find some peace, find ourselves a joint, a bong, take some toks, light some candles, man. Say some prayers. I don't know. May try to figure out how to help George Floyd's family. I know none of you guys are really saying this stuff, but I just had to say something. So there's so many more ways to try, you know? Peaceful protest doesn't have to equal going around town, burning down buildings. And to hear that that shit's going to be in Salem tonight, as if Salem doesn't already have enough fucking problems as it is, you guys want to destroy it. Like, come on. Like, get the fuck real. Seriously. I'm going to find us a song. We're going to go out. Guys, I hope you all have a good night. Please, please, please be safe out there. Don't go into Salem unless you need to. Fuck, don't even go out. There's a bunch of people just doing a bunch of crazy shit. And they probably don't even know why they're actually doing it. And that's the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, please be safe. I'll talk to y'all soon. One man's out. Staying out in the country. They ain't coming out this far. Alright, I'll talk to y'all then. Peace.